God did something miraculous in his life because the doctors were searching for something uh, that would, would equate to maybe leukemia or cancer. And I want you to tell what God has done. All right. Good morning, everyone. So <clears throat> started about five months ago. Uh, I was having some issues with just symptoms I was having, and I was complaining to my wife, and I think she just got tired of me complaining. So she said, you need to go to the doctor. And I said, okay, that's probably a good idea. So <clears throat> went to the doctor. Um, he ended up sending me to a, like a GI specialist for some issues. Went there, ran a bunch of different tests, and one of the tests was some blood tests. So uh, I got a call from that doctor's office uh, like three days later or so, and they said, hey, your blood test came back really weird. We really want to see, have you see a hematologist and have your blood checked out because something's not right. And something inside me just said, eh, I don't know if I buy that, right? I mean, who knows? I'm, I'm 30 years old. There really could be nothing wrong with me. Um, and so I just kind of dismissed it for the most part, and I went back to my primary care doctor, and I, and I said, you know, this is what they're saying. I don't buy it. And he said, me neither. I agree with you. I wouldn't send you to a hematologist for this. I said, great. I got someone on my side other than Jesus, right? And uh, so he said, let's go and run the blood test again because we don't know. It could have been just a, a lab issue, right? So we run the blood test again. About five, six days later, he calls me back and he said, hey, man, um, the test results came back worse. So I really do think at this point maybe you do need to see a hematologist. And again, I said, no, I don't think so. Like, I just don't feel like that's necessary at this time. I feel fine. I don't feel sick or anything as far as what they're trying to say I have. And so I said, can you just do me a favor and let, let's, let's just run the test one more time. Now, in this period, uh, I was talking to Pastor Dennis and, and uh, Pastor Jimmy, and, and I, I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to go for this third blood test, and I'm going to get a clean bill of health. I'm going to get perfect blood test results, and hopefully Pastor Dennis will invite me up on stage so I can show everybody my blood test results on the screen. <laughs> it didn't happen. So that's me thinking I know what God has in plan for my life instead of what God has in plan for my life, right? And uh, so anyways, <clears throat> he calls me back and says, sorry, man, they're still really bad. You have very, very low white blood cells. Your red blood cells are about three quarters of the size of a normal person's red blood cells. Um, and you have very little platelets in your blood. And he's, so he's like, I really think there's something wrong with your bone marrow, so I need you to see this hematologist. No other options. This has to happen. No more, no more extra tests, right? And so I see the hematologist, and he's sitting, and he's looking over my test results, and he's like, yeah, there's definitely something here. So I don't, I, I don't know what's going on. But he said, I'll tell you what, I have some tests that I can do that actually test each cell for the most part. And they can see if the white blood cells have functioning antibodies and see if the red blood cells are transferring iron which helps transfer oxygen throughout your body. I'm no doctor, but I'm just repeating what he said. So I said, okay, let's, let's do these tests, all right. So he said, they take about two weeks, so you're gonna have to kind of be, you know, wringing your hands for a little bit, because if, if I don't get what I want back, then we're gonna have to do a bone marrow test, right, And which is like scary. So um, anyway, so I go back in, and he says, uh, after the blood test come back, and he says, I don't understand. Or I said, I can't, he said, I can't explain this to you. And I was like, okay. And, and I, on the inside, I'm grinning, right? I'm like, what are you going to say? <laughs> You're going to say I'm fine, right? <laughs> and so he's like, I can't explain this, but your white blood cell antibodies are perfect. Your red blood cells are transferring just as much iron and oxygen as they're supposed to, and the hemoglobin and something. I don't know. You'd have to ask him. Um, and that he said that my platelets are now at a level to where if I was to need an emergency surgery or something, there would be no issues with with blood clotting in my, in my body. And, and you know, so it just reminded me that even though I was expecting this piece of paper that said healthy, healthy, healthy all the way across in these blood results, there's other ways that God can tell me that I'm healthy, 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 right? So that's my story. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Praise God.